Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tom Tarth with a quick tutorial here. And today I'm going to show you how to install WordPress. First thing you want to do is upload your files to your server. You can see now I've got this file left to do. Let's just close this here. Um, so I'm just going to basically process queue like that. And then now when I click process queue, that's finished uploading. Okay, so that's now uploaded to our server. This is the WordPress blog that you can download free from WordPress.org, I think it is. And I've got 2.6.2. I'm using FileZilla, which you can download just Doodle FileZilla, and it'll turn up there. Okay, now I've just closed FileZilla. I didn't want to do that. Let me just connect back to my server just to show you how we do it. We have the server here. We just click our drop down list and we click the site that we want. It'll load us in, just like so. Now I've installed WordPress into the public. HTML, so it's in the root of my site. So what I'm going to have to do just for now is right click and go to File Attributes and then change this to 777. Now this may look different in other um, FTP clients, but you just want to change it to 777 and you don't want it to return into subdirectories. And that has now made this public HTML folder writable. Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to go to your site. So my site was, let me just zoom in here. My site was connormc.site90.com and then if I hit enter here, this should bring up the WordPress. Now you it might get a WordPress error, you might not. If you get this, just let create a configuration file. This will automatically create the file for you. And now you can ask to input your data name, data username, data password and data host. So I'm going to click let's go. Now, uh, just give me a couple of seconds because I don't want to show you my password here because it's pretty much my password for everything. So I'm going to fill these out and I'm going to leave the password blank, but I'll show you what to fill it out in. So when you come back, this will all be filled out for you and I'll go through it. Okay, so as you can see, it's all filled in. Now, if you're wondering what the hell I've just done, don't worry. I've just simply taken the data that I have from my host and paste it in here. You can contact your um, server host and find out your SQL database and all that. So I've filled out the database name. This is a71574781 underscore blood. Don't ask me why that's the uh, prefix is like that. It just is. The username is the same except it's underscore root. I haven't entered my password yet although I will do in a minute. And then we have MySQL web, uh, MySQL for dot zero zero web host dot time. Now that might, might not be the same for you, in fact it won't be the same for you because um, it, well it just won't be because that's my host not yours. Yours probably be more than likely it'd be local host although on certain occasions it might not be so I've just entered my password in now and that'll let you see it. Hit submit if it's low five zoom. Okay, so say alright Sparky, you've made it through this part of the installation. WordPress to now communicate with your database. If you don't get this, then you've done something wrong, so just go back and um, try again. And then you want to click on run the install. Now as I said this is for a skill project, so it's now actually for your blog title and your your email address and I'll show you why in a minute. So I'm gonna call it oops Connor Metathes ICT blog and these numbers be changed later. I'll show you how to do that as well in another video. And then my email, which you can email me at if you want. And then you can allow your blog to appear in search engines like Doodle and Technorati. That's how you spell it, Technorati. And you click install WordPress. Take a couple seconds to load, and this is your randomly generated password. Okay, so you want to copy and paste that, highlight it, right click, copy, click load in, and this is where it's going to ask you for your password. Now you can type in your pa your username and password, which is admin. And we've already got our password on clipboard, so we want to go to the password field, or right click, paste. This will paste in the password, and you also remember if you want as well. Now later, your Firefox has asked you if you want to remember this password, just click not now. Don't click never for this site unless you're on a shared computer. Click not now. As you can see, I have the latest version of WordPress. Let me just show you the actual admin dashboard. This is the dashboard on um, 
on the Firefox version. And it says you have one total comment, one approved, and one post and one page. This is the default. And now I'm going to show you how to change your password. You want to go to users. I'm actually just winning this, so some of it may be wrong. This is where it might go wrong. And then you want to click admin, which is you. Ah, this is what I wanted. Now you can change your name. You can't change your username fast, but you can change your name. So we're just going to zoom in now to these fields here. So first name, Connor, last name, Matthew. The name nickname Connor display public name as admin that for some reason stays the same. Email website http www.tpgs.com.nr uh, Java Doodle Tart Bibliological Info Password right okay that, that's thinned out so that's not too bad. So it's the password now to change the admin. This for the new password. This we need to be. Scroll right down to the bottom of the page, and it'll ask you to change, type in a new password. You don't have to have the old password. It'll still be on your clip, but we don't have to have the old password. Just type in the new password, and then click update profile. Your profile is then done. Update. User updated. Now you can visit your brand new blog that you've just made. And here it is, Tom McCarthy's ICT blog. Just another WordPress blog. Welcome to WordPress, this is your first post, edit it or delete it and then start blogging. So this is just basically how to install it. Check out the next couple of videos which will show you how to not only customise it but get used to the basics. So I'm Tom McCarthy for tpgs.co.nr Tech Centre and this was the installation of WordPress.